Hey guys, this is Lisa. And this is Adam. Today we have an A2 lesson called Paying at the Store. That's right. So before we were talking about looking for things in the store, but now we have to pay for them. Yeah, so we're also talking about using big numbers, so you don't want to miss that. Right, so in today's dialogue, we have a customer and a salesperson. Now let's listen to our dialogue. Hi, can you check the price of this dress for me? Sure, it's 75, but it's on sale for $50. Great. I'll take that and these two shirts. Of course. The total comes to $135. Great. Can I pay by credit card? Yes. Here's the machine. Please sign here. Okay. Can I get a receipt? Sure thing. Here you go. Have a nice day. We are back, so it starts with Karen, and she is at a store. Now she's holding a dress, and she asks the salesperson, Hi, can you check the price of this dress for me? Okay, so check is a word that has many meanings in English, but here it means look. Yeah, can you look at the price of this dress on your computer. Right. Actually, we use computers to check a lot of things, or I do anyway. I use my computer to check the weather. Or you could check the date. <laughs> ah, right. I don't know if June 20th is a Monday or a Tuesday. I need to check the date. Yeah. And of course, at a store, you can check the price. Right. And we always check the price of something. Exactly. So the salesperson checks the price and it sounds like it's $75. Wow. Yeah, but it's on sale for $50. Okay, well, that's good news. I love these two little words, on sale. Yeah, it just means it's cheaper right now. Right now. That's important. That's very, very important because a sale, which is a noun, is usually only for a short time. Yeah, that's right. And we always say that something is on sale. Right, so you can say it's on sale and stop, or you can say it's on sale for $50. Yeah, or it's on sale for today. Oh yeah, so hurry, hurry, hurry. Of course, you can also, after you go home, tell your friends, I bought it on sale. <laughs> that's right, because sales, that is the noun, are great. So Karen says, great, I'll take that and these two shirts. Okay, so she's buying three things here and the salesperson says, of course, the total comes to $135. Whoa, Karen is rich. Now the total, this basically means all of the things together. Yeah, the dress and the two shirts, mm -hmm. everything. Everything. So when you are buying something, the total is a very important number. Yes, it is the price of everything. Everything, right. And here that is $135. Mm, okay, now the salesperson could say the total is $135. That's okay. But he doesn't say the total is, does he? No, he says the total comes to. Mm, okay. And this has the same meaning. Right. You could say the total is or the total comes to. Please don't ask what comes to means because we are only going to say it means is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, now you could say the total comes to or you can say it comes to. Right. And you can use comes to in a question. but. In a question, we have to change it a little bit. How much does it come to? That's right. Okay, so how much does it come to? Well, it's $135. Okay, so a big number here. This is going to be our grammar point for today. So we'll talk about it a little later. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Karen, because she's rich, she doesn't care. This is $135, <laughs> doesn't matter. She says, great. 
can I pay by credit card? Yeah, so a credit card is like a visa. It is not your money; it's the bank's money or visa's money. But you can use it. Yeah, and cards are kind of bad, right? Because it's really easy to spend money when you have a card. Right, and again, it is not your money. <laughs> <laughs> it's very easy to spend another person's money. And if you show the salesperson your credit card, he or she will probably say something like, "Here's the machine." Yeah. So, the machine. Okay. Let's look at machine first. So, computers are machines. Right. There are so many machines, cars, everything. <laughs> Phones. <laughs> your phone is a machine. But here we're not talking about a machine. We're talking about the machine. Yes, the machine. This is what you use when you're paying by card. Yes. So if you are at a restaurant, maybe the waitress will say, "Are you paying by card?" Yes. Well, I will get the machine. Yeah. Or they might just ask you, "Do you need the machine?" Ah, yes. That's right. That's right. Now the machine is great. It makes our life very, very good. But sometimes you still need to sign. Yeah, you need to put your name on a piece of paper. Right. You can sign your name on a book if you are famous. Yeah, or you can sign pictures of yourself. Oh.、Uh, but sometimes you have to sign receipts. Right. So the machine will often give you a receipt. Of course, we all know what a receipt is. We've all seen many of them before. But did you know that we do not say receipt? <laughs> yeah, we don't say the p. So it's just receipt. Receipt. Can I get a receipt? Or the salesperson might say, "Would you like a receipt?" That's right. And Karen wants the receipt, and the salesperson says, "Sure thing. Here you go. Have a nice day." Okay, so we are at the end of our dialogue, which means it's time for grammar. Today we are talking about numbers over a hundred. Okay, so of course a hundred. This comes after ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, a hundred. Yes, and we use the word hundred, number, and then hundred. Hmm. Right. So in our dialogue, we see. A hundred, but people will also say one hundred. I think one hundred is a little more formal than a hundred. Yeah, most people just say a hundred. A hundred. Ah,、uh, here's a hundred dollars. Thank you. Yeah. Or two hundred. Oh, or three hundred. Yeah, the numbers keep going up,、mm -hmm. but we don't say two hundreds. No, there's no s here. Remember, a hundred is a number. It's the same as one, two, three, four, five. We don't say ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, and we don't say hundreds. Yes, that's right. Now, in the dialogue, we heard a hundred and thirty-five. Hmm. Okay. So we actually get this question a lot. So one hundred and thirty-five. Can we say a hundred thirty-five? You can, but if you're writing it, it's better to write a hundred and thirty-five. Okay, so let's give a few more examples. Two hundred and twenty, or two hundred twenty. Four hundred and ninety-nine. Four hundred ninety-nine. Eight hundred and seventeen. Eight hundred seventeen. Okay, that brings us to the end of our grammar section. Now, when we are shopping, of course, we want to buy things that are on sale, which means that our total will be a little bit smaller. Yes, but it's best to check the price because、mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you're not sure if that sale number is right. That's right. Okay, guys. Well, we want to know about you. How do you pay at the store? Do you use a credit card? Yeah, and did you buy anything on sale? Let us know in a comment, and we will look forward to reading those. Okay, guys, as always, thank you for listening, and we'll see you next time. Yep, see you then. Check on sale total comes to. Credit card. 
machine. Sign. Receipt.